Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. The last video, we did it. We wiped out all the Zeniths. We saved the Earth, I guess, until Phoenix comes or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is that's coming, but something's coming. Maybe the next... Uh, who knows? The next adventure for Aloy, I'm not sure. So we've completed the game. We took everybody out. Uh, let me see. I only got, well, I got four skill points, but I mean, there's nowhere to put those. Anyway, um, there's lots to do yet. Lots to do. There's just a ton of stuff in here that we can do. I haven't done any cauldrons yet besides the, well, the Gemini cauldron. We did that. That was a main quest line, and we did... The very first cauldron you had to do for uh, the Utaras or whatever. We went to that cauldron and we fixed that one up. I forgot where that was at. Over here somewhere? Where was that cauldron? That it? That's not it. Anyway, we did that cauldron. Is this it here? No. Called it MU. I don't even see it. But that was where all of the... Uh, here it is. This is it here. Cauldron Tau. That was the one, I think. Where the uh, plow horns are all up, the gods of the earth or whatever they are, they're there. Um, let's see, and let me see if the, if the, okay, yeah, the Farzina thing is not in the clouds anymore. And I don't know if you can go back there or not. I imagine you can if you really wanted to. There's still a lot of clouds here. It's kind of weird. But, and phew, there's probably not much over there, really, since it's already cleared out. We wiped out everybody over there. So, uh, what I wanted to do this video, as I said last video, I would show you where my favorite farming spots are. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take you to some of my farming spots. Um, I don't know what kind of jobs we got to do here. We've got, uh, let's see, what do we got hooked up? We got nothing hooked up right now. We have this one here, Apex Slither Fang. Um, Dreadwing Metal Fang, Clamberjaw Tail Dusters, and Rock Breaker Mining Claws. That's interesting because I hadn't mined or farmed any Rock Breakers at all yet. It's very strange. Uh, Apex Stalkers, I can show you where I can... We're just going to go through a whole bunch of stuff here. So, first things first. What I do, just to make life easier, because I'm just farming for materials... It's just nothing, just doesn't bother me that much. We're going to go with story mode, okay? Um, yeah, that's good. So, let's say, um, let me put on my Utara thing again, because that works pretty good. That's kind of my favorite. All right, this one here, this thing here is pretty good. That's like my favorite outfit. It's got really good stuff, stealth range, valor. Surge Master Plasma Defense. I mean, we, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on there. Um, and right now my shards are at 66.85, so we're pretty good. But let's say you need to get some shards. My favorite shard spot is. Let's see, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Um, it's in the desert because I always end up in a freaking desert storm. Here? No, not there. I'll find it. It's going to take me a while to find all these spots again. Um, is it is the Bellowback. It's a Bellowback site. Bellowbacks, Bellowbacks, Bellowbacks. Here we are, right here. These guys. This is a great spot to farm for shards. And I'll show you why we're going to do that right now. Let's mark it. Okay, we can go to the campfire and hightail it over there. Here's what we're going to do. We go over here. There's a nice campfire right here that you can save, quit, and save on. I'm only gonna do, we'll just do this run once because I don't need any shards this time. I forgot to check my. Looks like everything is pretty good. We don't need a lot of stuff. When you're on story mode, like I said, sometimes it's a little difficult. The machines, the Apex machines, especially. And they just won't, they don't damage you. You can still do some 
Get off the rocks, girl. Man, it drives me nuts sometimes. Okay, here we go. Where are... Huh. I don't see any. Oh, I'm not happy about this. I don't see any bellowbacks. Man, I farmed this for like an hour one day, and it was a bellowbacks here all the time. These guys here, the fire horns, fire... Oh, wait a minute. That's why... You guys are killing me here. That's why. Alright. This ain't gonna be any fun. Let's try something else. There's somebody already over there and that's gonna just that's just gonna mess up the whole thing. Alright, let's go do something else. We'll come back to this. Alright, so next thing that I can think of off the top of my head is frost frost claws which you know all the frost claws and fire claws they're a pain in the butt anyway let's find a frost claw site it is right here let's see is that it that's not it that's the scorchers here it is frost claw let's go there I'll show you how that works Even frost claws are still kind of a pain in the butt now. If you need to collect sack webbing, that's usually what the problem is, is sack webbing. And this is already at night, so we're probably going to have apex frost claws here. You don't want to hit them in the gut, which I think it's okay under um, story mode. Is there one over here somewhere? Let's see what we got here. There's one right there. And it's at Apex. Okay. So, if you can hit him in the ass, that's pretty good. And I don't have any Valor, so we can't use Valor. And if we can get him to come this way... I think, I really think that the Frost Claws are easier than the Fire Claws. Fire Claws are, man, they're tough. These guys are tough too, but let's just do this. There he is. Hit him in the ass. Like that. And hit him in the shoulder. Frost Claw down. But did he's got little uh, claw striders here too. So you gotta deal with those guys. Oh, nice dodge. That was pretty good. Alright, you guys are asking for it. Nice dodge. They're good at it. Ah, just come on. Hit him. I love how those guys scream, man. It's pretty funny. So, as you can see, that uh, frost claw, his sack webbing is still there. That's the stuff right there underneath him. We'll go look at that. But usually, on story mode, you can get everything that's on them. You don't have to. See that right there? That's the that's the sack weapon. That thing on the bottom. Of them. That's the best way to blow up a frost claw or a fire claw in a regular mode, a normal mode, or anything above normal mode. But this will give you the sack webbing, and that's what you need for a lot of upgrades. Okay, so that's these guys here. Um, let's go to a uh shelter so we can change the time. I don't want to deal with 
Apex machines. And then we'll go deal with, let's see, what's next? We can do a fire claw. Fire claws are tough, but I'll show you where they are anyway. Alright, let's progress some time here. This is kind of my routine. Let's go to afternoon. Or, yeah, afternoon's good. I usually come to a shelter, then I will... Reload my ammo, because... You know, this is the cheapest place to do it, is at a shelter. I don't know what's going on down there. Sounds like some kind of freaking maniac stuff going on. Um, so we need to redo... Let me see, I use some bombs. And... I didn't use any of those. I need some precision arrows. That's what I use mostly. And I use that mostly in these runs anyway, because precision arrows are pretty good. Okay, so now... What is going on down there? They're up there. What the hell? Oh, there we go. What's happening over there? Shotgun is not much use against that. What are these guys doing? Shut up, man. All right, let's do this. Let's find. Let's see. What's another good place to? Uh... Right here, Tremor Tusk. Good place, Tremor Tusk site, right there. See where that's at? That's kind of the best place to go for a drummer tusk. And you can get an, a, a, you know, an apex, depending on the time. If you go there at night, you'll get an apex. And there he is. And he actually, he looks like an apex. I didn't want to deal with an apex if I didn't have to. Let's see if he is. He is not. Okay. And they're pretty, uh, Pretty easy to deal with, too. Well, on this mode, they are anyway. Let's just blow up his little sack down there. There he is. Tremor tusks. <clears throat> and usually you need a lot of their tusks. And you can, I usually get, I usually will take them off if I can, get some of them off with uh, precision terror arrows. But you'll probably get, see how many we'll get with these. We'll get four tusks. That's pretty good. Four tusks. Get a primary nerve, that's about it, and some volatile sludge is good. Okay, we'll take all of that stuff. And there, see, I already I need eight tusks, so I still need some more tusks, but that's not what this video is about. I'm just showing you where all this stuff is at. Um Slither Fangs. Not Slither Fangs. What are the uh Tide Rippers? Let's go do a Tide Ripper too. My favorite Tide Ripper place is, let's see, where is he at? He's down here somewhere. Here he is. Is this him? Right here. Let's go do him. Now, down here is a little dangerous because of these guys. This convoy travels this route here. They, come, they go down to this beach, they wander around here, then they come back and they travel this route. And they go all the way through here. Very weird. So they'll probably be there when we get there. Let's see. Tide Ripper's fairly easy to deal with, too. And I always do a save here. Because, you, you know, as long as there's a campfire here, it makes it easy to farm these guys. This is a little more difficult because the campfire's not near where you want to be. And there might be a freaking damn convoy coming through here. And I don't see him. Okay. So I usually just kind of jump off right here. And you'll see up on top there, you'll see the little icon come up that something's looking at you. And it's going to be the Tide Ripper. There he is. And what do we got here? Is he not at Apex, is he? Nope. Come on, buddy. Sometimes he's a little hard to get annoyed at. There we go. Come on, bring it.
Tide River. And you usually need tail fins from this guy. Uh, what do we got here? There you go, Tide River tail fins. That's what you usually need to upgrade stuff. And we'll also have to get primary nerve. Okay, take all that. Now, the dealio with this is you gotta run all the way back up that hill. And again, you gotta watch out for these guys, and they're coming closer too, so. They're not always here though, because like I said, they have, a, they have a pretty wide, pretty long track that they go around on. I don't hear them anywhere yet. Oops, there they are. I don't want to deal with them right now. We're just going to grab the campfire and hide the tail out of here. That's where your tide ripper is. So, let's do a Oops, wrong button. Sorry. Uh-oh. This happens on occasion. Actually, it's only the second time it's happened. Come on, game. Come back to me. <laughs> 